So, <laughs> this week is Mental Health Awareness Week, which basically means that we all need to be a little bit more aware of mental health this week. doesn't mean that. Basically, it just means that this week we can all take time to think about mental health and mental health issues and why it's such an important deal to think about. Mental health is really difficult to um, pinpoint. It's difficult to see if you haven't got any mental health problems yourself. Mental health is different to um, body physical health problems because physical health problems are visual. You, you, you can see them in somebody. If someone gets their arm blown off, they have a missing arm. It's, it's obviously painful. But if someone's going through depression or has some kind of problems with going outside because they feel they're going to get picked on by somebody or something ridiculous, that can be described as anxiety, which is a difficult word to get out of some people's faces because... Especially for me as well, as a, as a male, it's difficult to talk about mental health sometimes because you can't all the time. Um, so, the, yeah, the difference between physical health and mental health is you can't see mental health. You can't see the, the, the mental pain that somebody's going through. It's not possible to see it unless they describe it to you. And sometimes the descriptions you get from people who are really good storytellers are really good at understanding the the problems that they're going through in their head are, it sounds genuinely painful, you know? People that describe wanting to kill themselves because of the thoughts that they're having. It's like abstract thought can impose real health problems and and the thing this is the weird thing about abstract thought and the fact that people go oh but if you're feeling bad you just you just you stop feeling bad and you're fine again the thing is is that's not true it's been proven and i'm sure that whenever you feel sad you sometimes feel physically ill you 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 your stomach you, you know you might get uh, uh, you know, you, you, or, or when someone makes you angry, or, or when you hear about something that's happened and you're not particularly happy about it, people go, I feel physically sick from this emotion. But how? You can't feel physically sick from an emotion. It's not, it's, not, it's not logically possible. But the truth is it is, because we all feel those things. And for me, that is a perfect metaphor or a perfect... Uh, a perfect description of mental health is that it can impose physical problems even though it's just your brain and how you feel it's abstract it's not something that you can just it's not something you can see but you can describe it and you can feel it and i'm sure through any person in any part of their life they go through these things these problems where they feel really genuinely like they don't want to go outside. They don't want to go to school. They don't want to go to work because they feel like they might do something stupid. People have these dreams all the time, you know. Oh, I had a dream last night that I went to school without any trousers on and now I'm scared to go to school. These aren't particularly mental health in the same way as depression or anxieties or or um, uh, uh, stuff like that. But, like, the thing is, is when you feel these ways as a male... It's difficult to say because we're supposed to be big and strong and, and, and clever and, you know, they, they, they're they scary and, and, and stuff like that. But a lot of the time, you aren't. You, you, you can't. A lot of the time, I've heard a really good description is, as a male, you, you sometimes stay up all night thinking about, the day that's gone and 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 feelings that you couldn't discuss through the day or things that you couldn't say through the day so you sit at night and you just think about it and you listen to music and you you know you might have a cry there was an advert a few months ago i think it was last year maybe or, or an advert that was circling around for a very long time a while ago that was talking about when the last time some celebrities fell ill not fell ill you know, had mental health issues, or they were crying. And a lot of people say that it, it's, it's, it makes it easier if you just speak to somebody. And if you realise that even people like Kanye West, people think that he's like, oh, 
chilly eye, have mental health problems. What is it? Stormzy. People think that he's ridiculously like goes and beats people up in the in London and stuff. But like he's said he's had mental health issues. And a lot of these people, when you look up to them and you realise they've had mental health issues and they've had to deal with the same things that you're dealing with or similar things that you're dealing with. Like Kurt Cobain, for example, he was a huge, you know, he, he had massive problems with, with, with mental health. But here's the, here's the thing, right? This is how, you, you know, and for me, when I'm feeling upset or sad or, or, or annoyed, little things simple acts of kindness and love, someone showing you that they are thinking of you, someone showing you that 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 they just want to make you feel better. A lot of the time people say, oh, people that just say, oh, just feel better, just, it'll be fine, you'll get better, don't worry about it. They, they dismiss this as like not helping. But the truth is, if somebody takes time out of their day to notice or to listen to you about your problems and they take it in and they say, don't worry, it'll get better. Don't worry, you'll you'll find a way or just feel better. I don't get it. Just feel better. These people are still trying to understand that. So they're still trying to say to you, please get better. They don't want to see you like this. Simple, small acts of kindness and love from anybody, someone who's dealing with the same kind of problems as you, maybe someone that you know is dealing with depression and you're also dealing with depression, so you think, I'm going to help them in the ways that I can help, even if what they're saying is annoying and doesn't help. It's the act of kindness. It's the act of human decency that kind of says... I still want to help you. I still want you to feel better, even if their methods might not help them feel better. A lot of people say that listening to music and having a cry about it and really thinking about why you're feeling that way to pinpoint the exact reason helps actually getting it out. Not that it doesn't have to speak to anybody, but just getting it out to yourself and having a conversation with yourself helps. These are methods that I have found to help. Or speaking to someone that you really like, someone that you really love, this can help. And you've just, everybody that you see and everybody that you talk to, even if it's someone that's really annoying, that just, you don't understand what that person's going through. You don't understand how that person feels when they get home. Maybe maybe they're like, maybe they don't care, which as a human being, it doesn't sound like people just don't care. Maybe they don't care, but the chances are they do care. If you talk about somebody and if you call them a bitch or a cunt or a dick and you mean it, it might not, they might get angry at you at the time and just go, oh, you're a cunt as well. But, chances are they they'll feel it later on when they're alone and they think am i am i really an awful person am i really that bad that it someone will call me something or will, will say i'm i'm this bad of a person you need to change will that really happen and chances are this person will think about it and okay in some cases if somebody likes you, then you're at school and somebody fancies you and you don't fancy them back, then you have to say, sorry, no, I don't fancy you back. Then they get upset and depressed about it. That's not your problem. You're only human. You're not going to fancy everybody. That's fine. But if you don't fancy somebody and you say, okay, I don't fancy you. Sorry, goodbye. Don't lead them on. Don't, don't do that. That's horrid. That really invokes horrid feelings. Eventually when you when you grow up and you you you, you get older you realise that chances are a lot of the things when you were younger don't really matter. And problems get kind of smaller and, and you solve them easier. But that's my rant about mental health. I don't know how long it's been. I think it's been about nine minutes or about ten minutes. My computer's fallen to sleep. That's how boring it was. Um Here's the beggy bit. 
if you thought this was a good chat that I had with myself about mental health, then let me know and um, I can learn more about mental health, the actual psychological reasons and maybe do some philosophical uh, learning about why in why we might feel mental health why and do some bio, biology and do some some, some some sort of learning and make videos on it and then you guys can come along and I get you into things and stuff so please like subscribe comment do all that YouTube stuff and um, it could be fun to talk about that um, thanks very much for burping and listening and goodbye